You've probably heard me say that the closer you get to the end, the more risk you take with each addition. One thing I often do, especially when I'm doing a build with a fixed deadline, is to get it to a point where I would be willing to present it as is, and then I film it. The paint on this project took about four days all in. How, you ask? Well, I've had issues baking Tamiya clears, so when I use them, I let the paint cure naturally a day before I move on. I would not have had time to recreate this in time for today. I had actually put it on the table twice, but the project in my mind wasn't done. I wanted to do some more detailing. One of the things that I wanted to do was paint the center of the hood flat black to set off those little vents. I admit I was trying uh, to take the easy way out and rattle can this spot. It was really small and I just thought, well, I'll just spray paint it. But unfortunately, the two paints I used were incompatible. Not on purpose, of course. I had a bad reaction and this was probably not going to be repairable. So into the stripper and Hummer redo. So stick around. Look out, here comes tomorrow That's when I'll have to choose How I wish I could borrow Someone else's shoes Mary, oh what a sweet girl Lips like strawberry pie Sandra I didn't shoot any footage of the painting of the casting because I did it outside and I just wasn't going to haul my gear out there for 15 seconds of footage. That's beautiful here in Minnesota right now, so if I'm going to rattle a can, I don't mind doing it outside. Uh, I started this late Wednesday and I was ready to go Thursday night, thanks to Rattle Can Paint, which has, uh, shall we say, a more commercial grade curing time and I can bake the shit out of it to boot. I could probably throw this thing against the wall. As you can see, it is much more detailed, and if you're wondering, the black stripes on the hood are decals, and you may have noticed I had a little bit of tape leakage in one spot. This is why I assert that customs can be easier, at the very least more forgiving, than restorations. And then I just used a tire wash in the center of the, uh, the rims, so... Go check the rest of the builders. I'm sure there's some good stuff out there. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you.